So I'm starting off with the bare face and I'm going to snatch my hair first. You guys know that makeup and hair, they're cousins, they're twins, like they go together. So for today's video, I'm going to be rocking this hair. This is the hair I wore in the my lecturer tried to sexually harass me video. So a couple of people sent me DMs and e emails and commented on my Instagram to know what wig I had on. You guys know I'm still team wig life, like it's the easiest thing ever. Like, I can't remember the last time I went to a salon to make my hair. Anyways, this is from Julia Hair on AliExpress. It's their Malaysian curly hair. All the details are going to be in the description box below. The hair didn't come like this, but I combed out the curls. Like, I combed out every single strand of hair, and it is big, and I love it so much. Like, if you guys know me well, I love, 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 love big hair. I like to wear this in the side part. Next, I'm going to go into a little bit of Got To Be Glued. Put a little bit on the back of my palm. And I'm going to use this to lay my edges. I'm not laying this down, guys. Because it's actually like 8.30 p.m. So as soon as I'm done filming, I'm going to go to bed. I, I'm, I don't want to go to bed with this on. I'm going to take a couple of pins, hair clips rather, to clip the hair away from my face. So you guys can see what I'm doing very well. I'm going to start by priming my face and I'm going to start with the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. Priming is very, very, very important. So I'm gonna, just gonna use my fingers to rub it in. Pimples is not something I get. And then the moment I decide to film a foundation, highlight, and contour video, just, just look at my face. Do you guys see all this? <sighs> I swear as I'm getting older, too many things are beginning to change in my body. Next, I'm going into the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This is a mattifying primer. I'm going to apply this all over my face except for under my eyes. Ladies, you're not supposed to apply mattifying primers under your eyes. You are taking away your youth. Next, I'm going to take the Glean Melanie Mills in Deep Gold and I'm going to apply this all over my face. This is a liquid illuminator. It just gives a nice base for your foundation. You guys see how I'm already glowing. You don't want to apply too much of this and you want to make sure you blend it in very well. For foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and I'm in the shade 450. To apply it, I'm going to go into a standard foundation brush and I'm going to apply this onto my face first before I go into a beauty blender. The beauty blender sucks up a lot of products when you just when you use it by itself so i like to apply with a brush first then blend in with a beauty blender makeup isn't cheap you guys so i'm not about to be wasting my products and that's what the beauty blender does it wastes like it, it will just soak up a whole lot of your foundation I don't really concentrate underneath my eyes. Like I don't apply a lot of product there. I'm still going to go into it with concealer when I'm highlighting. So you don't want a lot of product underneath your eyes. So your eyes are not like cakey. Like when you have that cakey look under your eyes, you just look old. Then I'm going to go into a damp beauty blender. You guys, you want to squeeze out every single drop of water out of the beauty blender. Otherwise, it's going to ruin your foundation application. So this, this is damp, like there's no water in it at all. So I'm going to be blending this down my neck. You don't want to have a cast, a mask of foundation. So it should blend with the rest of your body seamlessly. I'm going to apply a little bit on my ears too. I'm done with foundation now. I'm going into highlighting. For highlighting, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toast. 
So you're just going to apply this under your eyes. For highlighting, you want to use a concealer shade that is two to three shades lighter, or even one, depending on how you want your highlighting to be. I'm taking the concealer a little bit into my nose. This will help with the uh, nose contouring. Like when you do this, most of the time you don't even really need to contour anymore because when you when you bring your highlight up here and up here and then you put it on the bridge of your nose, your nose already looks slimmer. And I'm going to apply on my cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead down the bridge of my nose so for cream contouring i really 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 love the black opal stick foundations so this is the shade ebony brown when i started doing this especially for the nose contour like you'd really see the snatched effect that you're trying to get you know especially when you're trying to contour a face that is slightly rounder i applied the contour on the on my hairline, down the sides of my face, then underneath this bone. You guys, you can feel this bone on your face. You want to apply the contour under that bone. Just do like a fish face. So your contour should be right here in the hollows of your face. Yeah? Yeah. I don't normally do hair, but for the purpose of this video, I'll do it. I'm going to apply on my jawline. I want to be as snatched as possible today. And for the nose, you want to start from underneath the beginning of your brows and bring it down. I really don't like you when I see some people do their nose contouring and they bring the nose contour from, for example, my brows are already done and then I bring the nose contour this way. You just see two straight lines right in front of the beginning of your brows. That is wrong and it's not a good look at all. You should go underneath your brows. Like with makeup, you don't want to see the lines. All the lines are supposed to be blended in seamlessly as you guys can notice I haven't blended my highlights I like to allow the concealer sit on my face for a few minutes before I blend it in you guys try it out and tell me what you think about it like it makes the concealer get a bit tacky and when you blend it in at that point it looks flawless flawless I'm going to go back into the beauty blender and start to blend the highlight. To blend the contour, I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush. You want to use circular motions to blend the foundation. Really well, I set it. It's not going anywhere. It's it's going to show. <laughs> to blend my nose, I'm going to be using this really tiny micro beauty blender. I'm just going to pinch it in like so I'm going to flip it and use the other end to blend the contour you want to make sure that your contour gets right here you don't want your highlight to just go on for days and not have an end I'm going to go back and blend underneath the eyes very well and blend it into the contour. Then I'm going to flip the beauty blender and blend in between the highlights and contour. You don't want to see a clear demarcation between the highlight and the contour. 
then with the remaining concealer on the beauty blender i'm just going to do a little bit of reverse contour i'm not adding any more products just what's left over on the beauty blender okay that didn't show <laughs> i guess i blended out all the concealer on it i'm going to go into another early girl concealer this one is beautiful bronze it's darker than the one i used before so i'm going to take a little bit just a tiny bit on the back of my palm take a little on the beauty blender and cut underneath the contour your contour your blush your highlights when you're looking forward they're not supposed to show it's when you turn that you're supposed to see them imagine that you're placing two fingers on your face your highlight your contour every other thing should start from here it shouldn't exceed these two fingers i have up here so still blending and now do the other side So this is what the face looks like when I'm done blending in. Now we're going to go into setting. And for setting powder, I'm going to be using this one from Beauty by AD in the shade beige. So that's what this shade looks like. This is for my melanin sisters. This setting powder looks beautiful on melanin skin. You know, I'm going to go back into the tiny beauty blender and use the side that I used to blend the highlights to go back underneath the eyes and blend it very well before I set. Even though your eyes are creased and then you set it, you won't be able to blend it out again. And I'm going to start setting with the setting powder. What I do is I press the powder in. I also like to set around my lips where I get smile lines. It helps to reduce it. Now that we're done setting the highlight, we're going to go into setting the contoured areas and I'm using this powder from Maybelline. It's in the shade Cacao. So I'm just gonna use the same Real Techniques contour brush. Circular motions, guys, don't forget. When you use these motions, you are applying it and blending at the same time. To set my nose, I'm going to go into a small blending brush. I'm going to go back into the setting powder and do the reverse contour again. Next, we're going into face powder. And for face powder, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deepest. And I'm going to be using this Sit Pretty Powder Brush to apply it all over my face. So I just tap it and apply it. When I get to this point where I did the reverse contour, I dab the powder in first and then I swirl so you don't lose the reverse contour you did and at the same time you don't have harsh lines you guys see that compared to this side okay hopefully you guys can see that remember to take the powder down, down your neck then to bring this whole look together i'm going to go into the mac fix plus setting spray and spray this all over my face what so what this does is it sets the makeup and it gets rid of the whole powdery look makes it to sink into your skin so people are always teasing me about the fact that i like to bathe in setting spray i don't like my makeup to look cakey at all at all i like it to be skin like and dewy so that's why i bathe in setting spray to get rid of all that kiki look so now i'm going to go ahead and bathe in setting spray <laughs> mm. 
Whew. That is the most amazing feeling ever. One of the reasons why I like the setting spray is that it dries quickly. So before you know it's all the setting spray would have dried off. I'm gonna go off camera and finish up the rest of my look now that I've shown you guys how I did my foundation, my highlight, and my contour. And I'll be right back. So I've gone ahead to finish the rest of my makeup off camera. This is what it's looking like with highlighter and the rest of my makeup all done. What do you guys think? Hope you loved this tutorial. Hope I was able to enlighten you guys on how to properly do your foundation, highlight and contour. If you have any questions that I didn't answer in, in this video, feel free to comment in the comment section down below and I'll definitely answer every question that you have. So I went ahead to let my hair down put a little bit of water just a little like i didn't want to lose the bigness of the hair you know i've got this whole diana rust thing going on right now that i'm loving so i didn't want to lose it i just wanted it to be a little more defined i wanted the curls to be a little more defined so i put a little bit of water down the hair and just use my fingers to comb through it i realized that full hair suits me way better than scanty hair but if you guys want to see what the hair looks like with the curls really defined and flat not as full as it's looking right now let me know i'll definitely do that for you guys to see let me go back some more so you really see what this hair looks like you can take it to the side if you want to okay i don't think i like what that looks like with it to the side but yeah you could do that just pinning a little bit here now this is what it looks like in the center part which one do you guys prefer? I'm not sure which one I prefer. On a normal day, I'm more of a side part girl. But I don't know, I'm thinking it's better in a side part. What do you guys think? So if you're interested in purchasing this hair, I have a coupon code for you guys. Yeah, I got you, I got you guys. Just use the code LAIFA and you get $8 off. So yeah guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any more videos that you guys would like to see me do, comment in the comment section down below. Let me know, I'll definitely do it for you. Until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.